It's a great honor to speak at this multipolarity forum. And why multipolarity is so important? I think because it's opposite. Unipolarity is immoral, unjust, and outdated. Under this unipolarity, virtually everything, from dollars to trade, to computer chips, to other technologies, to climate change, you name it, all can be weaponized. And sanctions, missiles, and color revolutions are the norms and used routinely at will, causing wars, deaths, havocs, and untold human sufferings for millions upon millions of the people. And this order has to be changed and will be changed. <laughs> and with the rise of China, Russia, the expanding BRICS and other members of the global South and the global East, a multipolar world order is emerging fast. In the case of China, with seven decades of socialist construction, China has become, for the first time in human history, the world's largest economy by purchasing power parity since 2014, so exactly one decade. Yeah. It has become the largest industrial power, manufacturing power, and trading nation, with the world's largest consumer market. <laughs> At a speed of accomplishing almost one industrial revolution every decade, since the early 1980s, China now is at the forefront of the fourth industrial revolution with big data, AI, and quantum net technologies, etc. And now China is the only country capable of providing goods, services, and experience from all the four industrial revolutions to the whole world. All this has changed China forever and changed the global landscape forever. <laughs> it is in this context China launched the Belt and Road Initiative 11 years ago. Now with over 150 countries participating in thousands of projects based on the Chinese idea of discussing together, building together, and benefiting together. And this is a very advanced idea for human society and for the new multipolar world order. And BI has now become the largest common good and platform for international cooperation in human history. Indeed, this is laying a very good foundation for the emerging new world order. As a full-fledged independent pole, China is also a civilizational state with full sovereignty, powerful defense capability, immense economic, technological, and cultural intellectual power. We believe in the motto of unite and prosper rather than the Western model of divide and rule. We reject that categorically. We embrace a shared future for mankind. As a contrast to America's, if you are not at the table, you are on the menu. Likewise, despite some controversies over the Ukraine conflict, Russia's determined objective and resolve to change the unipolar world order is widely appreciated and supported by the world majority. As a result, yes, it's true, Russia is isolated by the West, but the West is isolated by the West. That's important. <laughs> yeah. 
And this fact alone shows Russia is also a full-fledged independent pole with full sovereignty, powerful military might, economic weight, cultural and intellectual strength of a civilization's new state. Many new poles have emerged, not only China and Russia, but also India, Brazil, Iran, Turkey, and others, plus the expanding members of the BRICS and the global South and East. And they may have internal differences among themselves, yet all these poles, all these countries share one common objective for establishing a multipolar world order based on peace, equality, justice, development, and common prosperity. Many of them also consider themselves as civilizational states or civilizational communities. If the United States' unipolarity is underpinned by its deep state, which has done so much harm to the world at large, civilizational states are known for their deep cultures and deep peoples. They all cherish their own moral standards and civilizational roots and reject categorically the Western moral lecturing or imposition of its will on them. EU foreign policy chief Mr. Borrell admitted not long ago that almost everyone in the non-Western world thinks now that there are credible alternatives to the West, not only economically, but also technologically, militarily, and ideologically. I think this is true. <clears throat> and with the immense material weight or hard power and enormous intellectual power or soft power on the part of the world majority, this shift towards a multipolar world order has become an irresistible trend of history. Let's celebrate this. And uh, promote it for a better and more humane world to come. And finally, let me express my sincere thanks on behalf of uh, all the Chinese participants and other participants as well uh, for, ho for, for our host, Russian host, and for holding this grand forum and for your gracious hospitality. We wish the forum a great success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Chang Weiwei.